when creating stickers with your silhouette machine should you use a kiss cut or a die cut if you want easy peel stickers the answer is both hi i'm brenda lambert i'm a tjc licensed instructor for silhouette you found your way to silhouette success and i do hope that you are going to join our little community we would absolutely love to have you Today I'm going to go through three different ways to use both the kiss cut and the die cut on the same sticker project. You're not going to want to miss this, so make sure you stick around. There's a lot of information to cover today, so let's do this. I pulled my designs in from Creative Fabrica and rearranged them. I do have my page set up to a letter size. I just need to turn on the registration marks. Let's move these on to the design mat and get them situated so that the hashed areas are clear, we can open up the offset panel. Select our design, click on offset, then apply. We're going to right click here and group those together. Now select the elements and the offset and group those so that everything stays in place. Over in the send panel, we're going to cut by line. This blue cut line, I had to create another offset. So we're just going to unclick that and not worry about it. You can see here that the red cut line is going to be the die cut. I do have it set to white sticker paper, but I'm going to bump my blade up by one and I am going to do two passes. I did have to bump the force up to 20. I did not get that on this recording, but I, when I cut it the first time, the die cut did not go all the way through. So I did have my settings at a blade depth of three, a force of 20, and two passes for the die cut. Now the black line is going to be just a regular kiss cut, and we will keep the settings at the regular sticker paper white setting. While this first batch is cutting out, let's go over a few basic principles of print and cut with Silhouette. When setting up your page, you'll get the best results if you leave the registration marks at the default settings. Keep the hashed areas clear. The Silhouette machines need that space to read the registration marks properly. Cover the top left corner of the grid on the cutting mat with the top left corner of your sticker paper. This ensures that the machine will not mistake the grid for the registration marks. If you're having issues with registration, close the lid on the machine and hold the cutting mat level during the reading. Remember, these machines do not require any outside source of light to read these marks. Outside sources of light can cause a glare or shadows and throw the marks off completely. We're finishing up with the first cut now. That was the black cut lines. That was the kiss cut. Now it's going to go back and readjust the blade for the second cut, which is going to be the red cut lines or the die cut. I always check the cuts before I unload my machine. This looks perfect. I'm just going to remove the excess here. Let's take a look at this one. The cut lines look amazing and it's a little bit hard to see, but there is an outline here. Now, once you peel off the outer lining, you'll have that entire edge to bend back and then it will be an easy peel sticker. A lot of people like to add a tab to the outline and weld it and then set the design back in place, but I find that this is a lot easier and it just looks more uniform.
Now let's move these off and look at a different way we can do this. I'm going to duplicate just the design. So I've ungrouped it and I'm going to duplicate the design, pull that onto the mat. Now at this point I'm going to grab a rectangle and just draw that out so that it stays within the cut lines. Let's switch that to no fill color and a red cut line. And we just need to make sure that the stickers are all within that cut area. Now we can go to send and see that there is going to be a solid line cut around the edge of the sticker paper and the black lines will cut out around the sticker. This is going to cut out a nice rectangle for the page of stickers and it's going to allow us to pull off the excess sticker paper so that the stickers themselves can be pulled easily away from the sheet but they're all still going to be together on one page. You won't have the loose stickers this way. Everyone always wants the magic numbers for the cut settings, and I am more than happy to share what works for me. However, I need you to keep in mind that every machine is a little bit different, and every sticker paper is definitely different. So your cut settings are going to vary some. You can use these numbers that I'm giving you as a starting point, and they may work or they may not work. But you have to learn how to adjust the settings for what is going on with your specific project. Now I'm going to duplicate that design again. But this time I'm going to ungroup it, grab this rectangle, and fill it with color. Let's send that to the back. And now your sticker paper is a little bit more decorative. But when you fill the rectangle with color, that's going to be in the way of your hashed areas. We need to keep those clear. So let's go ahead and resize this just a bit. Drag the whole thing in, scale it down, and reposition it. Now all the hashed areas are clear. And when this one is sent to cut, you're going to have a nice green background and a nice clean cut edge. Now we've looked at three different ways to make stickers using both the kiss cut and the die cut on the same project. I do hope that you are going to try some of these techniques out and I would love to see the progress that you're making. If you could hop on over to the Book of Faces and join the group Silhouette Success, I'll link it in the description. I would absolutely love it. You can share pictures there, have conversations with other silhouetters like yourself, and get quick answers to any questions you may have. Now go create something amazing, and I will see you in the next video.